Hi, this is Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. We're in Kenosha, Wisconsin to celebrate a birthday. And what birthday is it? Why, it's the 100th anniversary celebration of the Rambler, those cute little cars that are often underappreciated, but nevertheless truly loved by devout AMC fans. So to give us the whole Rambler lowdown, here's Mary Galligan, the president of the Kenosha Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, right? That's right. Welcome to Kenosha, wow, Dennis. Wow, what a title. <laughs> it's a long one. You must be important. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done a heck of a job with a car show. Oh, it's just been great. It's been a wonderful event. Today is, of course, the big day, but we've had activities all week long. We had classic cruising nights at our local drive-ins. We had the dedication of the Rambler Legacy Gallery down at the Kenosha History Center. So the history of automaking will be on permanent display here in Kenosha. And we had a car parade. And today, of course, this is the big day a thousand cars here on the lakefront in downtown Kenosha. I wasn't sure there were that many Ramblers left, actually. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. There are people here from all over the world. Really? We've had people in our office from Australia. They're here, of course, for the swap meet because it's hard for them to find the parts for their cars over there. Absolutely. So the swap meet has been a big success, too. That was all day Friday. Now, Kenosha is really the sponsoring uh, city here, but, but this has been coordinated by several clubs, right? Oh, yes. It was like an 18-month process to plan this event, and we had representatives from all the major clubs, and the whole effort was spearheaded by the city of Kenosha. And was it all worthwhile? Has it been good for Kenosha? Oh, absolutely. It's been so much fun. I actually like to get around and look at something. We say we go for a stroll. That sounds great. Let's look at some of these babies. Okay. <laughs> The Rambler Centennial was a birthday party for the often overlooked Rambler automobile, held in their birthplace, Kenosha, Wisconsin. And what a great setting for this week-long celebration, which included parades, concerts, Chrysler engine plant tours, plus a show and shine on the shores of Lake Michigan. Never before, and likely never again, will you see this many Ramblers gathered in one place. What a sight! Well, Dick, this is wild. A 57 Revel. I think it's the only one I've seen here. It's the only one at the show today. Yes, it is. And actually, it's the only one I've ever seen. <laughs> well, that could be because there ain't too many of them around How anymore. How many did they make? Uh, 1,500 of them. Is that all? Yeah, it's all. And, uh, I mean, I, I understand this is a pretty hot car. It was the second car, uh, fastest car produced in the United States in 1957. What was faster? Uh, fuel injected Corvette. That was it? That's this it. This thing was that fast? It was that fast of a car. Man, I can't believe it. It's, it's so wild looking. And, and uh, I mean, the interior looks original. I mean, I don't know how you'd even restore it. It's so wild. Now, how about the color? It's, uh, is this original color? The color is as close to as original as we think we have it. All the cars were painted the same color. All, all 1,500 were this all, color only? Yeah, that's right. So what made this so hot? Well, uh, it's got a 327 uh, V8 in it, solid lifters, four-barrel carb. But that's not a Chevy 327? Definitely not. Nash came out with the first 327. Wow, and it's a solid lifter car. Mm-hmm. Man. That it is. Well, it looks great, and, and, and it's got to turn heads, because like I say, I've never seen one. And it, do you drive it much? Or? I drive it occasionally, I sure do. And it is pretty hot? It's a pretty hot car. You still take on vets at stoplights? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, hey, it's a great car, man. Well, thanks, Dennis. Thank you. Beautiful 60 Rambler American. I've always loved these cars. This one's gorgeous. It's the original beep beep car from the record, Rambler American. <laughs> <laughs> two door though, pretty rare. Two door sedan, they had four door sedans and also station wagons. It looks bone stock though. Yes, it has uh, 20, almost 22,000 miles on it now. When we found it, it had only 13,000 miles. That's it? That's the original miles on this <laughs> car? Yes, uh, we bought it from the original owner's estate in Aurora, Illinois. and. Uh, Basically, it was just a car sitting in a garage Man. waiting to be found. Little old lady, the classic. It was. Right. It was a little old lady. You got the original window sticker, what, $2,514? Well, it was a lot of money back then. Beautiful interior. I mean, that, that looks original, too. It's all original. All I did was clean it and bring it back to how it was originally. Pretty simple gauging with a speedometer that reads 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, everything's there right in front of you. It's like an airplane design, one gauge for everything. Well, what makes it go? Well, this is the rare part about this car. In 1960, mid-year, the custom model introduced the overhead valve 6, 196 cubic inches, which was used in the larger Ramblers. Oh, wow. And actually, that makes this car quite fast with, with the transmission combination with it. So they were flatheads before that, Most right? Most all of them were flatheads before this, yes. Man. So did you, did you drive it up or trailer it? Oh, we drive it. We don't believe in trailers. Oh, gosh, I love it. 
Oh, you, you made my day. Douglas, thanks a lot thanks for bringing that. This is beautiful. What a cute little car. Beep, beep. Peter, a 70 Revel machine. The yep. Rambler muscle car. Yep, yes. These are cool cars. Now, was this the last year for the Rebel? Yes, it was. Wow. This was 1970. And was this, I mean, it was a Rebel with a trick paint job, or they did some other things? They did some other things. The suspension was changed, and that uh, highest horsepower engine ever put in an AMC production car oh, really? was in this car. Yes. Wow. It's 340 horse, 390. Now, did they all have the stripes and everything? Yes, most of them did. If it was a solid color, it didn't happen. Probably option this the same way you could option almost any... Uh, any Rebel? Uh, yeah, you could actually. From tilt steering wheel, the air conditioning, automatic transmission. Tissue dispenser. Tissue dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> Eight track tape. Yes. Now would this have been the, the, the stock interior? Yes, it is. Even with the red, white, and blue armrest? Yes, yes, the red, white, and blue ones came with the red, white, and blue oh, armrest. That looks nice. Now they all had uh, the hood tack. Yes, it did. Uh, and that big block scoop. Yep. I always, I thought that looked so bad, <laughs> so bad to the oh, bone. Yeah. Huh? Well, let's, let's see what powers this machine. Okay. That's There it is, the 390, what you The say, 340 40? horsepower, 390. It's beautiful, and, and a functional hood scoop. I guess yes. I'd forgotten they had that. Yep. Where are you from? Rhode Island. Just, and did you drive it here? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I did see sure. it cruising in, so you drive it some. Yeah, I do drive Does it Does it have some. a lot of punch? Oh, yeah. And you take them out? Light, light oh, sure, later. sure. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful car. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. The Ace Cafe has a rich history involving motorcycles, hot rods, and rock and roll. It all started in 1938 when this roadside cafe was built for travelers and truckers. In 1940, the Ace Cafe was badly damaged during a German air raid and then rebuilt in 1949. Being open 24 hours a day and close to the main London arteries, the Ace Cafe soon became a central gathering point for petrol heads and rock and rollers. The Ace thrived for nearly three decades until the building was sold in 1969. That was the end of the Ace Cafe until 1994, when Mark Wilsmore decided to breathe life back into this historic gathering place. The Ace would seem to me, it would certainly have been the place, because at the time, rock and roll could only be heard on a jukebox or in a fairground. So kids would come and listen to rock and roll on a jukebox. My generation comes along, the sort of 40 year olds and younger, all sort of searching for their roots and realizing this is pretty much a part of the fabric of who we are and my view is that it ought to be open. Well we opened a small part of the premises some four years ago and that small part was only open initially Sundays only but hot on the heels of opening Sundays only we had the car club that's here tonight badgering me open up for them open up for them which we then did. It's a monthly meet the hot rod thing first Wednesday of the month but in spring and in autumn, the club here called The Execution has organized their either spring riot or end of summer riot. It's hugely um, pleasurable to see, because actually most of the, the things out here are things I want. I can't have, but you know, once a month they're mine. We also had a chance to talk to Terry, the local car club president. We started a car club about five years ago. Um, we try to base it on some of the American car clubs. We try to keep him with sort of like the 40s, 50s, sort of 60s style cars, um, nostalgic drag cars, lots of hot rods, lots of customs. We just seem to pull a really good crowd every month and uh, we don't know why that is, maybe we've just got the formula that people like. The kind of scene that comes here is more, would appear to be more related to clubs in the States like the Shifters and kind of a West Coast um, nostalgia retro the british marks represent certain things that the american models of, of a particular ilk and what you do with them it's it's a rock and roll thing and if i have to tell you that i don't I, it's very difficult to explain welcome back to my classic car after talking with mark and terry it was time to check out some of the american iron Tony, beautiful 40 ship. This thing's killer. How'd you come by this car over here? Well, we're called American Car Imports, and I took this car in a part exchange against a brand new C5 Corvette from a, a guy <laughs> in Ireland. I don't know, I think you made out better, actually. So, well, I don't know. You're telling me you got something pretty trick in the trunk. Open it up. What, okay. what, what's back here? Well, 
Just in case we run out of fuel, <laughs> I just put 50 quid in that and it's about half full. So I should better get home. I live five miles down the street. <laughs> so she burns a little gas, does she? Actually, she's quite economical. Is that right? As long as you don't give it too much welly, it's okay. <laughs> well, now how about, uh, what, do you, what do you have for an interior here? What do you got going in there? Well, the nice thing is it's a proper four-seater. You can go out two couples, as you can see. We've oh, got, nice. uh, yeah, we've got five, pop, five point uh, Simpson racing harnesses if you want to use them. We've got a new Budnick steering wheel and a new Hurst shifter. And uh, all the gauges work, all the original gauges. It's even got tilt steering. Well, now, do you need all that? What do you have under the hood? Well, what does it look like? Well, uh, well let's go have a look. Shut her up there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's under the hood. Well, you know, I don't like driving too slowly. So uh, <laughs> when I bought the car, it had a pretty knackered 454. But we decided that wasn't enough. So we put a brand new 502, 502 in it. Oh, that's so, nice. So uh, it goes quite well. Does it sound as good as it looks? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you decide. All right. Let's hear it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh. That sounds good. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> very nice. Nice rumble. Beautiful car, man. Thank you very much indeed. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, Chris, obviously a little rain didn't deter you from this cruise in. No, 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 you gotta come out and drive them. That's what oh, they're built for. Exactly, Now, and you built this car, didn't you? Well, yeah, pretty much, yeah, with the help from some friends. A little help from your friends, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where did this car come from? Was it in the UK when you found it? It was, yeah, it was, uh, the car was originally uh, built in Antwerp, uh, oh. Belgium. And uh, when I bought it uh, about six years ago now, it was a rusty rolling shell. So it's been a bit of a ground up from there. Wow, where'd you get all the parts? Oh, just from the US already, year one, classic industries, places like that. Just, just ordered them up and yeah, put them mail in. order and just, you know, pay oh. the shipping and the tax and everything else. A lot of rust? Yeah, fair amount since it's been over here since 1980. So, so quarters, door the skins, the whole thing, huh? Yep, fenders, yeah, everything. A beautiful, uh, you know, beautiful job on it, actually. Thanks. What Thanks. do you have, what do you have uh, up under the hood? Do you really have the 400? I mean, this yep. is my favorite hood of all cars, yeah. I think. <laughs> Get some of that water to roll off. Yes, yeah, it's flying there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's you know, beautiful. Year one Ram Air Pan. Very nice. Little bits. And the correct Pontiac color on that block. Yep. Yeah, despite where it's got a little hot and burnt off. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Yeah. And you do drive it. You said uh, you. You took it on its maiden voyage recently. What yep, was that? It's, um, I just finished the car and got it on the road uh, beginning of this year. And uh, the first time it went out was we went out to a, a show at Lake and Heath Air Base. It was its first run about 140 miles. It seemed to run pretty good. So the following day it was like a 500 mile round trip to Belgium. Back to where the car came from. <laughs> That's great. Well, hey, there. thanks for bringing it out no tonight problem. on such a stormy night. Yeah.